All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another video. All right, y'all, so I uh, wanted to give my thoughts on this one because I know a lot of y'all been asking this and wondering, and I've been asking this myself. Now that we have Suarez versus Jan Robo on lock for uh, UFC 310, right, in December, the big question we all have is, where is Zhang Weili at? Where does Zhang Weili fit in the title picture as of right now? You know, we, we've closed out the year with Grasso Shevchenko three. That's probably going to be the last title fight at flyweight for this year. And now we're going to close out the bantamweight title fight with Pennington Pena. And I know we were all hoping we we're going to close out December or close out 2024 with a fight in December with or November with Zhang Weili and Suarez or even Suarez or even uh, Weili versus Jen Rope. But that would have been a good one. Either one of those would have been fine with me. But now they're going to put Suarez and Jan Roba in a title eliminator, which to me, like I said, I'm not mad at that fight. I think it's a good fight, but I kind of had my sights and taste set on a Whaley versus Suarez fight now, just because that was the word going around. You know, the word going around was Suarez was going to fight Whaley. She got her shot, but they went a different direction and they put Jan Roba in there. So I'll take that fight in the meantime, but at the same time, I'm like, man, where's the champ at? What's going to happen with the champ? And I know a lot of y'all been asking that. And my answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all's answer is as good as mine. But I have three scenarios that I think could be the situation right now with Zhang Wei Li. Uh, first off, I got to say, I don't blame Zhang Wei Li on this one, man. Um, well, for the first two points, I don't. But the third one might put a little bit of blame on here. The, the, like I said, these are just my these are just my thoughts, just my ideas on what's going on here. But I don't really blame Zhang Wei Li because, number one, you know, she's she's a company woman, just like all these other champions. They're company men. You know, they fight who they're supposed to fight. That's the beauty of the UFC. You know, uh, you got to fight who's there. The same boxing where you can sit out for a year, fight once a year, two times a year. I think the only way. It's been working out that way for Zhang Wei Li, where she'd fight maybe once a year or twice a year, kind of spaced out, is because, you know, the lack of uh, contenders, you know, and the fighters that she's already fought. Because we can look at the strawweight division right now. She's pretty much fought everybody, honestly, right? And some of the fighters just aren't ready, right? In this case, Suarez and Jan Roba, I think they could have been lined up to fight. But I think this is a decision from the matchmakers and maybe the ufc they probably want to make suarez Janaroba a little bit more interesting here for whaley you know they want to build this thing up um they want to make suarez look a little bit more dangerous and Janaroba a little bit more dangerous because let's be real you know suarez only fought andrade in montana hasn't really fought any of these well-rounded improved fighters uh Janaroba is on a four fight win streak but if she could get a victory over a dangerous big dominant wrestler like suarez it would make general but look a lot more dangerous for way lee right so after the last two fights they pro uh of title defenses of way lee they probably want to do something and make it look a little bit more interesting build up the fighter stock which you know um yan jana for the most part you know she did get some knockdowns on way lee but she didn't really win too many rounds right so they want to make this fight look a little more dangerous that's what i think they want to make one of these opponents look dangerous so on that note, I don't really blame Wei Lee there. I don't blame her on that, you know, because I don't think she has the say to say, no, I'm going to sit out and not fight. Like, uh, you know, I just fought Jean, Jean, Jean on in April. It's only been five months. Give me another seven. Like, that's not her. She's a student of the game. You know, she's an athlete. She loves to fight. This is her life. You know what I mean? Like, she's getting older. Like, she wants to make a legacy. So I believe that Jean Wei Lee would fight somebody if they were ready to go. But let's look here. Um, yes, yeah, Suarez should be ready at number one. She beat Jan Jana at number two. Verna, number three. Okay, those two should be ready, right? But for those reasons, like I said, they're probably holding back. Number four is Andrade. She's been there, done that. Number five, Lamos, been there, done that. Number six is Marina Rodriguez. She didn't, she's like, what, one and three in her last, she, yeah, one and three in her last four fights now. I mean, there was a point where Marina was legit four fights in a row. But kind of going downhill. So, no, she's fighting you, Lucindo. Number seven, Mackenzie Dern. Just bounced back with a win. But even Mackenzie, I don't think she's ready. She's fighting Ebos next. 
And as you go down the list of the top 10, who else is there? I mean, number nine, Rishi. Do we really want to see that fight? Look, shoot. If they did something like that, I'd report Zhang Weili's Instagram and get her blocked for life. <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously, if Zhang Weili took that fight, then we cha I'd change my tone. No, it really wouldn't be her fault, right? I mean, at that point, she could probably say, okay, that's a crazy fight. Right? And then you got number 10, Loopy. All right, so really who else is there i mean there's those two fights and then just everybody else would be a rematch or just a mismatch rematches or mismatches so i would have loved the suarez fight yes could have locked that in but i don't think that's Whaley's fault yeah she she would fight anybody i believe she would still fight anybody i mean she already has she's got everybody on her resume you know lost you know, even if she lost to rose she, rose iwana andrade lamos She's fought everybody. I understand people's pain that the fights are spaced out, but you just have to look at the turnaround time and the fighters that are legit ready right now in the strawweight division. So I don't really blame her on that. Right. So it could just be a situation where she's just waiting. She's just waiting because the UFC is making her wait. They're trying to build somebody up for it. They're probably trying to set up a China card, even though it's going to take like eight months to a year in the spring or something. So she's probably just like, all right, I'm doing what y'all say. I'm going to wait. In the meantime, you know, she's just staying healthy and, and training. Right. And speaking of health, number two, it could be a situation where she's letting something heal. You know, maybe they're not revealing something. You know, maybe they don't want to say what it is but maybe she has like a slight condition or something where she just can't be cleared by the commission to fight you know alexa grasso i remember you know she was mum on it she was mum on it they was tight-lipped on it you know when um alexa grasso was torn an acl torn an acl in the macy barber fight you know she was out for a year everybody knew she was out but she didn't release why until like a year later right so she didn't want nobody to know her weakness she wanted to get fully healed so Things like that, you know, um, people won't always reveal what's going on. So something probably could be wrong. Like I know waylee has been out and about. She's been at the fights. You know, she's been out on Instagram and so on. But maybe it's just something where she can't be cleared to fight. So maybe they're waiting on something to heal. I don't know. Finger, hand, pinky toe, whatever. Uh, let's look at uh, her IG right now. Like, let, Let's see when her last post was. September 16th, she posted uh let me see steph curry okay <laughs> and on the 14th she posted her gambling right her playing a game out in china right she was playing like a game with steph curry they were out there playing um almost looked like dominoes or something i guess it's like a oh mong jong mahjong yeah mahjong i heard of that game yeah they're playing that and yeah i see her out in the gym september 8th she's getting her strength and conditioning workout in so it might not be an illness. I don't know. Or it could be something, like I said, like Macy Barber. You know, Macy Barber was still, like, exercising and working out, but she just couldn't get cleared to fight because of whatever her condition was. But I don't know. I don't know. So that's the other option. The third one now, I'll change my tone on this, but <laughs> if this is a situation, then she is to blame on the third one here. But the third one could be Zhang Weili trying to invade 125. All right? That could be the third scenario, and that, that could be why she's inactive as of right now. She could be making a move up to 125. All right, I'm not trying to talk it up. Don't get mad at me if it happens, but I'm just saying, like, those are the three options right there. I mean, on the real, you know, with her working out, I see her putting on a little bit more muscle, you know, Whaley looking kind of big in these pictures, or it could just be because of the off time. But right now, you know, Zhang Whaley has been setting her eyes on 125, you know, over the past year. You know, she's been talking about it ever, you know, ever since they thought Valentina wasn't going to fight the third fight. Uh, Zhang Wei Li said, hey, I'll fight you. You know, I'll fight Grasso. And Grasso said, hey, I'll fight you. You know, they all kind of welcomed it. But Manon said, hey, pump your brakes, Wei Li. I get the next shot, right? So that could be something that Zhang Wei Li presented to the UFC. And the UFC is probably okay with it because, you know, she brings star power. So they probably would okay it with that. So that, I, I think that's like the only way, like, they would do anything she says like she can't really pick and choose at straw weight like she can't pick or choose i don't think she can just sit out when she wants but if it's something that's going to make the company more money and do something bigger for the flyweight division no they'd be all for it especially if it has someone with 
her something to do with her wanting to fight you know they might say okay yeah you want to move up yeah sure now my thoughts on that i don't like it but it could be an option like flyweight doesn't really need Whaley right now you know way she can still stack up a few more title defenses here you know fight suarez and Janaroba and make a legacy there and break Joanna's record at some point that's enough for me but moving up the flyway i don't think that's really going to do anything for us you know and might not do anything for her because when you look at the lineup here they don't need her because there's a lot of big threats here big strong well-rounded threats for her. and a lot of these fighters are pretty much closing in for title shots for themselves you know of course manone is number one uh grasso could get, could get another title shot at some point aaron and rose are fighting they they're going to try to get the next title shot. Macy Barber wants one. The Tyus Silva's calling for it. You know, so we got enough fighters lined up as is, you know, without trying to throw in another fighter in the mix. You know, so with Wei Li, I know her having a belt, being champion and having that stock, she could try to jump the line. But I don't think that would be fair to Manon Fior or these other fighters that work that hard. And at this point, I don't think it would be fair to even Rose. You know, hey, shoot, because Rose already beat her two times at flyweight, Rose uh, at, at straw weight. And now Rose is up here getting, you know, getting in work in with enough wins. So I think, you know, Rose is more deserving of it now. So if if that is the thing, is that if that is the one scenario that they're about to do here, I'm not for that. I'm not for that at all. I mean, I understand Zhang Weili's getting older. She wants to be a double champ. But, you know, there there's a line right now. There's a line. So I hope that's not the situation. But something in my head keeps saying that they might try to make this fight don't get mad at me now i keep thinking that jean whaley versus macy barber might happen in like december or june all right like i see that fight happening more than any other fight at straw weight for jean whaley like below suarez in general but like they ain't gonna do whaley versus richie or loopy or anything like that but they could possibly do macy barber because it would make sense because suarez could jump ahead of Rose and if she beat Macy she'd be number four and Macy might take that fight because that would be a comeback fight for her she would see with a less less risk because hey Zhang Weili's smaller you know she's not Manon so Macy might would go for that fight if Zhang Weili moved up she'd be like okay I'll fight this girl you know that there's star power behind it She's a champ in another division that builds her stock up. So I can see John Whaley and Macy Barber both agreeing to that fight. Now, I'll apologize now if they make that fight happen, but I could see something crazy like that happening, y'all. So, yeah, those are my um, thoughts. So th those are pretty much my thoughts on what's up with John Whaley, where she's at and where she might be headed. I think that she could just be waiting for the winner of Suarez Janaroba. Number two, she could just be letting something heal up. And I don't blame her for any of those. Uh, number three it could be that 125 move up. And if it is that, then that's not good. That's not good, Whaley. But we'll see y'all. What do y'all think, guys, in the comment section? Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button. WMMA Talk. I'm out. Peace.